welcome back to my little YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I've been away for a while because it's hard work getting the time in between all the other things I do. I actually enjoy making these videos. I've only done a few. I've done more than is on YouTube because um, I'm not an editing expert yet. So I've made things that um, are, just, are just time consuming to edit. So then I've not put them up and then they're a bit out of date. So um, yeah, but I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm a beginner. Um, I'm, yeah, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy editing. I enjoy learning. Um, so anyway, how are you? I'm good, except I have hay fever. Who gets hay fever in February? Um, apparently me. I seem, I've noticed, um, like for the lot, for a few years that I get a cold and I'm like, well, I'm, I've got a cold for ages and ages and ages. And every year I'm like, is it hay fever? I think it might be hay fever. Um, because I never used to get um, any hay fever or anything like that. But apparently the blossom on the trees doesn't like me. So as soon as the blossom comes, that's it. My head goes, well, let's be stuffed. Let's have a blocked ear. Last year, let's have a constant headache in the side of your temple and make you worry that you're going to die of brain tumour or something. So luckily I didn't. I didn't have a brain tumour. I just had hay fever and um, how I know is partly because it went away, but it went away because I used um, some aromatherapy oils and I blended this blend and rubbed it into my head and this headache that's been there for like, I don't know, quite a few days and I don't usually get headaches and it'd been there for quite a few days and I rubbed this aromatherapy oil in and it just went and I thought, yeah, that's that's like the smells. The smells are clear in my, they're clear in my head. They're clear in my sinuses. Um. So anyway, this year I've now bought these little rollable bottles. Um. And I'm gonna put the blend in the rollable bottle, and then it's like a little, a little roll-on, like a roll-on deodorant, but smaller. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um. So I can roll it, the oil onto the side of my head or round by my ears and then I can rub it in. Um, I haven't made that yet but I need to because I feel so so blocked and sometimes like my eyes get sore, um, I can't hear very well in one ear and all that kind of stuff so yeah that's what I'm gonna do and that's how I am and that's my health at the moment. I'm fine but I've got hay fever. Um, so let's get on with the little B&M haul we've got today. Um, it's a bit beige. I know some people like beige. I like beige, but I like it as a background, so I like to add some colour in as well. But this is all very backgroundy stuff, and there's a little bit of spring in there as well. So yeah, here we are. First thing, which is a bit rattly, I bought a lampshade because my front room used to be um, this room used to be grey. And a bit of pink and I changed I've changed it to this beige colour it's quite a warm beige and the grey I've still got a grey lampshade and a grey rug I hang around because I want to find the ideal thing I want to find the thing that's that when I see it I will know it's the thing because I do this a lot I don't I don't just when I want something I don't just pick up something that will do usually I usually just go Oh, I want something and I'll know it when I see it and I'll get it but I haven't seen a lampshade and I'm getting really really fed up with the grey the colder grey colour in the warmer beige room um, my partner thinks they're exactly the same colour pretty much the same lampshade so what I did was I just bought a £10 lampshade from B&M it's nice it's got a nice texture nice canvasy texture it's beige but for now until I Will I ever find the right lampshade? I don't know. But until I do, this is what's going in the front room because I then don't have to look at the grey one and go, oh, I'm fed up with that. The rug, on the other hand, that's a different matter because I've got a dog who stinks. He smells, he doesn't like to be groomed. 
doesn't matter how much you shower him, he still will smell within, you know, within a day. So until I find, I don't know, a solution, some kind of solution to that, then the rug is staying at the moment. Yes, yeah, so that's my lampshade, £10 bargain. Um, as they all are usually from B&M, aren't they? Um, next I've got, again, really neutrally beige with like a veiny pattern in between the velvety fabric. Um, some cushion covers because I have a lot of cushion insides just hanging around my, in my bedroom waiting for their outsides. Um, yeah, because at Christmas and at autumn I had some specific cushion covers to go on them for autumn and for Christmas. But now I've taken all the Christmassy stuff out, obviously, because it's February. Um, I've taken all the Christmassy stuff out and I have, hadn't have found any new cushion covers. I'm thinking for the spring, I might add in some pastel of something. Probably not pastel blue because, like I said, this is quite a warm beige. And if I add in pastel blue, it's a bit cold. So it may be a pink or a green. I don't, I don't know yet. Um, if I see it, if I find it. But these very neutral shades means that um, when there aren't any extra colours in here, it could all go back, strip back neutrally, and I've still got, you know, the cushions. In here, it still looks put together and not completely bare. So, yeah, these are quite nice. They've got a canvas back and a velvety front, and, yeah, I quite like them. £6 for two, and they feel quite thick and good quality. So... And my cushion insides are no longer without an outside, so that's nice. Um, next up, again, going back, stripping back, very neutral, um, very beige, but pom pommy. So that adds a bit of fun, doesn't it? Pom pommy, beige, throw. Because we all like to sit around in the front room and um, wrap ourselves up in a blanket, don't we? Everyone likes to do that, and I like to have a few. And I've got some grey and some pink from when the front room was, um, from when it had the old decor. And I'm trying to slowly merge them. What's the word? Like, push them out and bring new things in. So, because we all like a lot of blankets, so um, I'm doing it slowly. But here, that can stay in the front room. Um, just it will go with everything else won't it there's that one next is um a bit of front room decor is a tray um is it wicker is it rattan something like that Hes i don't know not hessian rattan maybe um it's going in the front room and it will go on the coffee table and we could put like a candle or something a another decorative item on top just to give the room a bit more interest, really. Um, yeah, that was seven pounds, which, to be fair, for a tray that probably you can't use to carry cups on very well, because they'll be a bit wobbly, it's a bit expensive. It's just a decorative item, isn't it, really? But um, I saw it, I'd been thinking about trays <laughs> in the front room, as you do, and I bought it, so yeah, there's my tray. It's nice, I like it. Moving on into the kitchen, um, something a bit more useful and something we use a lot of. Tea towels. These are four for three pounds and they're nice towel, towel tea towels. So you can get the ones that are cotton and smooth and they're alright but they get, they get like wet quickly, don't they? Um, and then you can get ones that are microfiber. I don't know if it's just because I go to cheap places but the ones that are microfiber are useless. It's like they repel the water. They literally don't like water. They're like, no, no water is going near me, on me. If it does, I'm not soaking it up. So what's the point in drying? You dry your hands on the towel. It just spreads the water around your hand. Um, yeah, so that's why I like these ones. Very basic. I would say they're greyish. Um, and I don't know if any of you do this. If you do, be ashamed of yourself. And if you have a partner or someone who lives in your household who do, does this, I, I really, really 
empathise with you because my partner likes to use a tea towel to wipe the kitchen sides. No, no, don't do that. Don't wipe the kitchen sides with the tea towel because you're wiping up that spilt curry. What happens to my tea towel? It gets stained. It gets an orange stain on it. That's, that's gross. No longer looks nice and crisp and clean in my kitchen. It just looks like a dirty old rag. Um, yeah, use a cleaning cloth. We've got loads of them. We've got the drawer for cleaning cloths. It's bursting full of cleaning cloths. Use one of them, a damp cleaning cloth, not a dry tea towel. Yeah, yeah, three pound. Good, good price. Anyway, yeah, so if you do do that, if you do do that with your tea towels now, stop it. Probably someone in your household is angry. If you live on your own and you buy your own tea towels, it's your prerogative, isn't it? Anyway, next up I've got bowl. Um, yeah, it's a bowl. It's I, I like it. It's plain, just normal. But I do like the little the lines, the, the like sticky out lines. And I like the noise. Don't think you can hear it, but I like that noise. Um, I bought some bowls because we need bowls. Uh, yeah, we need bowls. All our bowls have got, not all of them, but a lot of them have got chips in and uh, we need new ones. And I like to buy sort of white plain bowls because then if one breaks, you can just buy another one that's white plain and it sort of goes together. Uh, but for some reason, um, my brain thought, don't buy four. There's, four. there's usually four of us in the house, sometimes five, sometimes six. Um, for food, don't buy, don't buy four, don't buy five, don't buy six, just buy three. Who who does that? Why did why, why did I think just buy three? I just bought three. They were two pound fifty each. My brain said, you don't want to spend ten pounds on bowls. Why not just spend seven pound fifty? So that's what I did. So now I'm thinking. <laughs> I have to go back and see if they've got some more because it is nice for at least four of us to be able to have matching bowls, isn't it? That would be nice. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Anyway, that happened. And there's bowls and they're nice. And next, we're getting into the spring things. I've got this really nice wooden chopping board that is shaped and designed like a daisy. I really like it. Um, it is wholly a decorative item for me. You can use it. It does say wash before use. You can use it as a chopping board, but no. No, we're not using this as a chopping board. We're using it for decoration. Um, for my spring theme in my kitchen, we're using a daily chopping board for decoration. And my partner thinks I'm mental because I buy chopping boards and say, don't chop things on them. That is mental really, isn't it? It's silly. But um, at some point when it gets old, I expect I'll say, oh yeah, you could chop on it now. But at the moment, no chopping on this chopping board. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty, it's cute. I really, really like it. Um, and as you probably have figured out by my hauls, I do like to change things up for the seasons. So yeah, that's... Um, that's a nice chopping board for my kitchen. And the last thing that I got, really like these. I really like these. These are super cute. Look, look at them. Oh, look at this. I got six. This is a daisy, really sweet daisy pattern mug. It's quite wide. It feels like cozy. Probably have a soup in there. Like, it feels nice and solid and nice in your hands and not, I don't know, it's nice. And I have um, hooks on my wall from, you know, from next years and years ago and they're like cup hooks and there's six of them. So I had to buy six, but, but this is the first time when I've convinced myself to buy six. Every other time when I bought mugs to go on there, I thought, oh, I'll just buy four or there's only been four in the shop. And then I have to find like another couple of mugs 
to fit on the bottom ones that look sort of matching. So I'm I'm so happy that I have bought six mugs to go on my on my mug hooks. This is really sad, but I'm really happy about it, and I cannot wait. Now I've done the haul, I cannot wait to put them up there and make it make my kitchen look lovely. Um, annoyingly. I might have to wait because I have work and all the other boring day-to-day -day stuff that I've got to do. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward. And these, so I went to B&M twice. I went um, to the bigger B&M and drove there and bought most of that stuff. And then I went for a walk the other day and I thought, I know, I'm walking to the next town, trying to get my steps in. And I thought, I'll walk to the next town and I'll pop in B&M and I'll get some shower gel. Um, and I walked in, got the shower gel, but I also found that tray and these mugs. And I thought, those mugs are just, I just really like, I don't know. I have an affinity with these mugs. I really like them. I'm getting six. And they're £3.50 each. So, um, yeah, so that's, I don't even know. That's 20 quid-ish. Um, so, yeah, £21 maybe. I can't do maths. I can, but not right now. Um, yeah, so I, I bought these and I thought, yeah, I'll get all six. I forced myself. I was like, yes, you deserve them. You'll be, you'll be so happy with these mugs. And I am. I'm proud of myself for buying all six and not being a cheapskate and going, no, I'll just buy three or just buy two or, you know, whatever, like my bowls. Um, yeah, so I got six and I'm really happy and I'm going to have fun at some point soon, putting all my haul around my house and make it look lovely for two seconds before everybody else sort of marches through and makes a mess and kicks all my stuff aside and, you know, just wrecks it. But anyway, anyway, that's it. That's my B&M haul. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.